The Apostle John knew the importance of holding fast to the truth because he had walked with Jesus, who was full of grace and truth. He had lived with the one who was the way and the truth and the life. So when a number of teachers started arguing that Jesus couldn't possibly be both God and human, John warns his friends to not believe this lie and encourages them to hold fast to the truth. Listen to what he writes in verse 3. Grace, mercy, and peace which come from God the Father and from Jesus Christ the Son of the Father will continue to be with us who live in truth and love. He goes on in verse 7. I say this because many deceivers have gone out into the world. They deny that Jesus Christ came in a real body. Such a person is a deceiver and an antichrist. Thousands of years later, John's warning about false teaching is just as relevant as when he wrote it. Just like the friends that John wrote to, people will tell us all sorts of things in the name of Jesus. Sometimes their lives are politically motivated, sometimes their words are financially motivated, and sometimes people will simply say whatever it takes to not offend anyone. The problem is that the gospel is offensive. What makes the good news news is that it announces a changing of the guard. The old way of doing things is gone. Jesus has defeated death and he's coming back to make things right. So as we navigate uncertain times, the only way to know what's true is to know who Jesus actually was and what he actually said. And the best way to separate truth from lies is to read the Bible diligently and to surround ourselves with people who will point us back to his truth. Listen, the enemy strives to deceive us more and more each day, but we are more than conquerors in Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you.